Hey guys, welcome back to Homestead Prepping and Survival. Well, I ordered a few little no uh, new things for the range out there. This one is a 4 inch gong. This is an 8 inch gong. And this is a 12 inch silhouette. Now, I've got a 18 or 24, something like that silhouette out there on the range. And I had a 6 inch gong and two 3 inch gongs, but... When those things get hit just right in the link of the chain or something, they go flying. They're very hard to find. So I've just about lost all of them. The silhouette's still there, of course. But anyway, um, decided I'd do some business with an American-owned and uh, relatively local company. And I uh, was fairly impressed. I ordered them Monday. They shipped Tuesday. And here it is Wednesday evening oh wait a minute no let me back up i ordered them sunday evening they shipped monday and they were delivered to my workplace today which is where i have most stuff delivered since i'm you know not necessarily home all the time but these are ar500 rated plates it's american made steel and um i kind of like doing business with american companies i'll tell you the I'm sure when that gong gets much bigger, they're going to be heavy. I do plan on buying more down the road, getting, you know, maybe a 12-inch gong and a much bigger silhouette. But if you can hit that 12-inch silhouette from 100 yards, shouldn't be a problem hitting life-size target at four or 500 yards because, you know, that's considerably difference in size. But also, I ordered something that I've been waiting on in order to start reloading 223. And as y'all can see here on the bench, I've got some cases here and here. And I've got about 110 cases that I've already deprimed and sized and lubed up. And um, these, I've deprimed and sized. These, I've deprimed, sized, and tampered the edge of the case right there so yeah it looks different on camera but they're all the same but anyway so i'm getting ready to start loading some 223 rounds once i'm done with the case mouth of these i will be ready to start repriming adding powder adding projectile crimping and hopefully get the load worked up with the powder that i've bought and be able to um, make about 14 or 1500 rounds of 223 to add what I've already got. So it's not too bad. And um, just thought I'd share that with y'all. <clears throat> I've got plenty of 223 brass. Y'all have seen it sitting here. It's a little over a thousand rounds. And this is what I've already gotten out and lubed. So I just stopped at 100 because I want, it's probably going to take 10 or 20 rounds. To get the load worked up right, how many grains of powder and so on and so forth, length and all that, till I find what works best in my gun. And um, I will be working on that later this week and probably the weekend and maybe next week. But when I actually get done getting it all worked up and ready, I will do a video showing y'all step by step how to load a uh, 223 slash 556 round. So these are just mixed head stamp rounds, but let's see if you can see that. You see it actually says 223 right there, but um, without holding it a little closer, I can't tell you what else it says. <laughs> oh my goodness. So that's a Remington round and it does say 223 right there. just mixed cases and I have ran them through my Frankfurt Arsenal rotary tumbler it's probably been six months or more ago so these may get another cleaning before I actually start to prime and load them but either way I just want to do a quick video that's something else I ordered too was another check gauge here where you can when you know the shooter's box i like these but i've got it for the 300 blackout and a few other rounds but 
Um, it's got a silhouette in the bottom, so if you took a fully loaded round, let me see if I can find one, a factory loaded round. You see how it sits in there? It's below the highest point. I can feel it at the bottom where it's just barely a lip, but yet it's still below the middle. So that case actually works out well. And then the tip barely protrudes so I can see that I'm getting the case to length and all of that the way I want it. So hopefully when I'm done, all the 14 or 1500 that I plan on doing will drop right down into that case gauge and tell me that it is good to go as far as cycling through, you know, your normal rifle. So, but guys, I don't normally do this, but you know, I'm a little bitty channel. I'm not sponsored, but guys, if you have not, let me cover up this, but crate tactical. If you have not looked them up, they ship really, really fast. The prices were a lot better than I expected them to be. And I'm sorry, I'm trying to use both hands. <laughs> and um, if you are needing some steel targets or target stands, they got a thing they call an elephant holder that will has like the snout of the elephant that goes through the hole. It'll go on a T-post and hold your target up. So if you're needing targets, target stands, all that good stuff for your range, look up Crate Tactical. They are a really good group of guys, local company, USA Steel, made in the USA targets, all of that stuff. So if you want to support, uh, you know, American made, there's your chance. And that's why I do it. And, uh, you know, look at the website. They do offer discount codes a lot of times. So you may be able to do something, you know, and save a little money. But their prices are really much better than I expected. I think, you know, and these things aren't light, but my shipping was only $14.95. And I got it in two days. So that's really much better than I anticipated the shipping to be. So, guys, give them a shot if you need targets and stuff. But anyway... I'm going to get off here and uh, probably tinker with some more 223 cases and get them ready to go to loading. And, you know, I, I was going to show y'all one other thing. I had to order the depriming rod. The one that I had, uh, I got to find the old one. I don't see it. I had one get stuck in a case right off the bat. And that was probably my fault for not lubing it properly and all. But so I ordered four more. And, you know, of course, you can't hardly get nothing off of Amazon for guns and reloading. So I ordered it from eBay and I ordered four D priming rods because you don't want to get caught without one when you need it. And those four took two weeks to come in. I finally got them in and all four of them have a little bit of rust on those rods. And they're supposed to be brand new. They were packaged individually. But um, I gave them a pretty negative review on, on eBay just because, you know, the price was fine. But the description of the product says new, and I don't expect new items to have rust on them. So um, we'll see if they reply back to my negative feedback on their product. But either way, um, I am now ready. I've got powder. I've got projectiles. I've got primers. I've got cases. And when I get out to the range, I've got some new steel targets that I can put up that's rated for rifle rounds, like say the AR-500 rated steel. So I'm ready to go make y'all some more videos out on the range. But guys, remember the two things I always tell you. Jesus loves you, and so do I. Y'all be safe. Be prepared.